Ellis Soul and I'm a freelance dance artist originally from Newcastle. So I started my training at Dance City and I was part of the Centre for Advanced Training programme they have there. From there I went to London School of Contemporary Dance to do my degree, a postgrad degree and my master's degree. So I'm a freelance dance artist so it means I work with different companies and different choreographers and we create new work and research and develop new ideas and new concepts for shows. I also perform on stage, which I love. And I also get the chance to choreograph my own work and for other groups and professional artists that need it. And I've been really fortunate that I've been touring around the UK and with certain companies. And I've been able to go to China and South America, which is incredible. So my style is contemporary. That's what I'm trained in. However, as I'm getting older, uh, there's more strings that I need to add to my bow. So there's more styles I need to learn in the dance world and the dance profession. So I'm with a company called Avantgarde Dance and that's primarily a hip hop company. So there's some styles there that I've had to learn and train throughout the years, which was great. I've also worked with a company called Shaper Caper and they are super theatrical. So the pieces I've been involved in, I've got a lot of text work and a lot of interacting with the audience, which was new to me, but yeah, it was all skills that contemporary dancers have to have. So today, I'm going to teach you a contemporary dance class. Now, it might be a bit different to what you've done before, whereby we're going to do the warm up together and I'm going to speak a lot and give you a lot of information and ideas that you, I'd like you to try out. So the focus of the today's class is to listen to what I say and work out how that makes you move and how that feels when you move, rather than what shapes am I creating. That's super important for today. So, first off, get some space. Make sure you've got enough space to move your arms, to move around. You're not gonna knock anything over. And grab a glass of water, a sip of water, and we'll start. So, okay, great. So what I'd like you to do is stand in parallel. So your feet are in line with your hips and we're nice and spread, toes spread on the floor. Now I'd like you to close your eyes for this part. What I'd like you to imagine, give it a bit of a shake, give your shoulders a shake, give your knees a shake, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, so with your eyes closed, I want you to picture a laser. Now this laser, whatever color you would like, mine happens to be green today, this laser is going to start from above your head and it's going to go down and scan all of the body. See the laser pass through the head, the shoulders, the ribs, the hips, the knees, the feet and down through the floor that you're standing on. And picture it again. So the laser starts above your head and it scans the head, the shoulders, the ribs, the hips, the knees, the feet, and down through the floor. Now what I'd like you to do is to pay attention as to where your weight is in your feet right now. And the way to do that is rock forward onto your toes just before you need to take that step. And back into the heels. And forward into the toes. And to one side. See how far you can push it. And the other. Oh. And now, as if your feet are now glued to the floor, see what it's like to move in all directions. If it's easier, you can open your eyes. Let the eyes open. And yeah, your feet are stuck to the floor. How far can you move forward? How far can you lean back? And notice what the rest of the body does to help that. Do you counterbalance so you can lean as far as you can? Do you find oh, your arms are moving to help? Now try and make it as big as you can. Oof. So these feet are glued to the floor. 
and the rest of the body, woo, let's try it and move as far as it can. Nice. So from this position, I'd like you to imagine two golf balls. Now these golf balls can be whatever colour you decide them, but see them travelling from the floor up and into the heels of the feet. Now what I'd like you to do is with these golf balls, start tracing along the floor. Now these golf balls can move any direction as if your feet are carving in sand. That's all across the floor. See if you can get every surface of your foot to touch the floor. Now it does not matter what the rest of the body is doing right now. I'd like your main focus to be on your feet. Nice. Can you go up onto your toes? Can you go back onto your heels? Nice and big. Oh. Good. Now, keep the feet moving, but I'd like you to bring your attention to your knees. Now these golf balls have traveled up into the knees. Now, we have two knees and they can move independently of each other. So what I mean by that is they don't have to move the same place and the same way they can have their own little journeys. So one might decide to go one way, the other might go the other, they might meet in the middle and keep moving. But for now, focus is in the knees. And what happens if the knees decide to lift up and down? If you've got space, be careful. Knees up and around. Keep it moving. Keep breathing. Now, from here, these golf balls, traveling up the legs, and into the hips. Now, the hips are very strong and now they can decide and take you through the space. Nice. So again, I'm not bothered about what I look like right now. All I'm focusing on is that my knees or my hips, hips right now, are taking me through this space and deciding which way I go and the rest of my body is just allowing it to happen. Ooh. Nice. My hips go high, my hips go low, Ooh. wherever they want to do. Now, same again, these hips, these balls within the hips are moving up and into the ribs. Oh. Now what I like to imagine here is that the balls are spinning inside these golf balls and there's a lot of range you can do in your ribs. You can spin them one direction, great band, and the other direction. They can make you okay to go up, round and down, going round, any direction you want. Again, it's not about what it looks like, it's imagine how it feels. Now these golf balls move into the shoulders. Oh. And similar to the knees, the knees, there's two, there's two shoulders too. So, they can move independently of each other. So one goes one direction, one goes the other. They both go up, one goes down. They both go down, one goes up. It's all in the shoulders. And the rest of the body is just following. 
Nice. And now to the top of the head. Be careful. Maybe move a bit slower with this one. It's easy to make yourself dizzy. Now move from the back of the head. Where does that want to go in space? The front, the chin. Maybe carve, carve your name out. Does it go low? Let's go around the corner. Does it go high? Does it drop down? All are good. And now from here, let that go. And the two golf balls are going to go down the arms, past the elbows, and into the wrists. And now what I would like you to imagine from this point is that they are shooting out from the fingers and it's almost like paint on a canvas. So I'd like you to imagine every arm movement you've got, you've just splattered the wall with paint, splattered the sofa, wherever you're having to move, you're covering the space with paint. See what color it is. See if you can draw your name or both of your hands moving at the same time in the same direction. So are they creating parallel lines or are they moving independently again? So in their own journeys, creating their own pictures. And now you keep the wrists moving, nice and articulate. And now from here, I'd like you to move everything. So that was feet, that was knees, that was hips, that was ribs, that was shoulders, that was head, and that was hands. Everything moving, eyes open, underwear, don't knock into anything, and everything's moving. Everything's going around, and up and down, big, small movements, everything's moving in space. Good. Hopefully, if you've been following me, hear a little bit of breath, which is good. Now, everything carries on moving, but what I'd like you to try and do now is move as if we're in water. As if we've either jumped into the swimming pool or the lake or the sea, and just as we've been doing before, everything's moving. Does it feel any different? Your hips, the feet, we're in water. The ribs, hands, your shoulders, and now I told you we're in honey, sticky, gooey honey. You could almost smell it, super sweet, gooey and it's everywhere and you're trying to move everything in it so that's your feet your hands oh, your wrists your hips your ribs your chin your shoulders through thick honey and now one step further, oh, wet concrete. 
you're falling in to some wet concrete. Now how does that affect how you move? You can see the grey bubbly colour before it begins to set. Is it starting to set? Trying to move every part that you can. Oh, through concrete. And last one. If I said you are a hot air balloon filled with helium, you're lighter, lighter than air. Your hips, your arms, your head, your knees, lighter than air. Does that feel different? Do you notice the difference in how you're moving? Continue with that. Five, four, three, two, and one. Find an ending position. Good. Whew. I hope you're a little bit more sweaty. Um, grab a glass of water if you need to. Oh, I wish I had one on hand. Um, yeah, so that tiny little warm-up that we've just done, um, I've done it quite a lot in my contemporary classes and when I've been working with different companies, it may feel really strange to do and you may be like, why and what am I doing? But there is some logic behind it. Now first is to try and wake up every part of the body in between your bits, the bits that you might not get to stretch. And it's also one of the biggest things from it. Hopefully you felt that you moved in a different way. Did water feel different from honey? Did concrete feel different from helium? It felt different for me and I really hope it felt different for you. Now what's good about this is that in technical terms, which we're playing with dynamic qualities of movement. Now, learning steps and moving in space, amazing. Really good, we need to do it. But if we can add this now extra layer of moving in space, but how I move in space, can just transform the phrase that you're doing. And it's something I find as being the most beneficial quality moving forward and working with different people is that ability to, how do I move? Great, this is what I'm doing, but how do I do it? Which is great. So, that's a lot of information and I hope you're good. Okay, what I would like to try and do now is to teach you a super small phrase and we'll add some qualities onto it. Okay, so, back into the space, give the body a shake. Now, starting in parallel position, just as we did before, your front, whichever it is. I'd like you to break in the knees, so if the knees bend, boom. And from there, one arm reaches right up to the top. Yeah, so knees break, one arm is up. The arm that is up circles down and is replaced with the other arm. Yeah, so the arm that up circles round, and the other one comes up. As we move the arms, so from here, we're going to send the other leg out. So whatever arm is up, the other leg is going to move out. So from here, we switch to here. And notice I've finished on a diagonal now, yeah? So from up, round. From here, we've wound ourselves up and we're going to turn over the shoulder with the arm that's extended. So, knees break, arm reaches up, arm that's up circles around to the diagonal, shoulder pulls us to turn. Back to the front, hopefully, doesn't matter if it's not. From this position, we're gonna squish and condense the space there. 
from here explode out boom yeah and that explosion i'm step out yeah so step out good and now the arms are going back around so step out in yeah all together is knees break arm up arm spins we go around spin all the way around condense and up yeah tiny tiny bit left so from here we're going to extend an arm back to the diagonal that we were on before the turn so we extend and we step back so extend step back this leg that's in front of you that foot is now glued to the floor and we step over the leg yeah so that bit tiny bit we have went boom, in the arm extends back to the diagonal we step back into it one foot is anchored to the floor and we fold around and we'll leave it there so three is all together is knees break arm up arm circles round and reaches we turn condense and out back to the diagonal step out foot glue and turn hope you've got that if you need to slow it down please do so this tiny phrase we've got our base layer we know what we're doing now we want to work on how we're doing it so just as we did in the warm-up what i would like you to try and do we do this phrase and we're in water now what i'm going to say to you now you may find that you need to add something you may find that you need to take something away like i said it's not about what it looks like it's about how it feels especially when we're trying this phrase out yeah so your version of being in water might be very different to my version so we'll try it feet in parallel starting position doing the phrase within water and go around around turn Condense, swim, out, step, and rest. Cool. Nice. Now we're tight. We're going to push on. Try and honey now. Same for these. Ready? Three, two, one, honey. Boom. Sticky. Like I said, yours may look very different to mine. As long as I believe that you're in honey, that's fine. Out, stretch, pick the foot up, and stop. Oh, shake it up. Try one more. Helium. A body hot air balloon, helium lighter than air itself. And go. Condense in. And over. Out. And around. End. Good. Now, what I would like to say is. They've done really good little bits and bobs. Um, what I would like to add though, is that we've stayed to one quality throughout the phrase. You can make this so much harder by adding two qualities while you do the phrase itself. Or you move your body in water and your feet are in honey. Your arms are in helium, but your feet are in concrete. Yeah, and so, what I would like to say is you've done really well, especially if this is the first time you've ever done something like this. Um, I hope you take something away and I hope these skills that you've got, we've done it in a space like this. You take these skills, you try them anywhere. If someone later down the line gives you a freeze, maybe ask yourself, okay, cool, I've got the steps, but now how can I do it? Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed it, I have, and hopefully see you soon. Well done. Goodbye.